This is one of technology. Now I want to show you a performance comparison between two different mini bra mini palm products. On the left, the black colored volume is our 160 model in brushless DC design with no noise. And on the left, on the right, these two models are our 180AL model in brush design. Of course, the latter one variance has certain noise and with no long time continuous bulk performance and with relatively louder noise. Yeah. Let's check again. Closely check the two variants of pump products. This is 160 model. As we can see, there exist three pieces of suckers on the base, which can make this palm easily clean to a smooth surface when installation. Its rated voltage is 6 volts DC, and working voltage range can be 3.5 to 6 volts. The max sturdy lift is about 1.2 meters while the max horizontal flow rate is about 170 liters per hour. Yeah, this is a brushless DC one. So it supports continuous rework with relatively low noise. Yeah, about the polarity of wire, the red wire is positive and the black wire is negative. Instead, this is a brushed DC design volume 180. AL model. Let's check the label. In fact, it supports working voltage range of from 1.5 to 6 watts DC. And uh, of course, it does not support long time continuous work and with not so long time lifespan. Yeah, with certain noise. Well, introducing uh, this information. I will power these pumps to show you the performance and comparing of the characteristics of the two royals. Okay. First of all, I need to remove all this panel, and there exists water, of course, because our pump is water pump. Then I will use this power supply. It's an AC DC power converter to power the pumps I've mentioned. First of all, I adjust the power voltage to 6 volts DC. Note that the red indicator is current and the green indicator is voltage. Now it's 6 volts. Okay, this is the uh, Okay, first of all, I use this. Well, I use this one, a brush DC design volume, one a zero AL model. First, get it into the water, and then we need to power the, we need to power this pump. Okay. Of course, we need to connect the cable with the power supply. I will show you later. At this moment, the palm starts work right. First of all, uh, let's fill its noise class, okay? Let's get it off. It's a noise class of this palm and dry work status. Of course, it's not recommended for dry work. Now, into the water. Hmm, totally speaking, this pump's performance can be taken as nice. Uh, and we can see its current value at this moment 
is 0.31 amps. So the total power consumption is about 1.8 watts. Yeah. And uh, its flow can be taken nice, right? Oh, of course, here we have to clarify again that this pump adopts brush motor design. So its lifespan may be very long, maybe several hundred hours. And uh, long time continuous work is always not recommended. Work and rest, work and rest is the ideal work condition for this model. Yeah. Of course, this pump supports wide voltage range work. You can see we can lower the power and the current will become weaker. At this moment, this pump still normally work, but much, much weaker. Much weaker than before, right? Yeah. I will remove this 180 AL model and uh, connect the other model again. This is what our 160 model in brushless DC design. It's more stable and more low noise. Yeah. And uh, here I need to power the pump with the power supply again. First, we adjust the power consumption to 6 watts, it's rated wattage. Uh, as we can see, the current at this moment is 0 0.33 amps. And we can see its performance. First of all, we feel its noise. Note that this pump has sucker. So it can, it can be easily fixed on the smooth surface. And I guess this noise class may be lower than the previous one. Then we see the screen effect. Yeah. Uh, objectively speaking, it has higher power efficiency than 180 AL brush design volume. Right, and this pump supports long time continuous work with no noise. Of course, please do not dry work without water, otherwise, you will also be in dry work status. This is prohibited. Let's check again the performance. Of course, this pump can also work at a wide voltage range, but uh, maybe as low as 3.5 watts. We can check 3.9 watts, and at this moment, the current becomes 0 0.21 amps. Then yeah, we can see that this pump still normally work, but much, much weaker. Okay. So my friend, I guess you may feel somewhat uh, more intuitive view about this performance, right? Uh, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.